Welcome to a new vlog. Today we are taking a look at this LRC reference box that I got from China. It can be found on eBay and AliExpress for about $17 and you will find links in the description below. There is this name written and I'm not going to try to read that but I believe it's the guy who designed this and I think it originates from some store on Taobao and everyone else is just reselling it from uh, that store. I will try to link that in the description as well. As the name implies, it uh, contains a um, inductor, resistor and capacitor. They should be some high stability parts that have a limited deviation over time and temperature. It's built out of uh, acrylic and uh, it uses these uh, cheap 4mm jacks that uh, we can find also on uh, eBay and AliExpress. On um, one side it has this uh, label with uh, some handwritten values. So I would imagine this has been measured and the results were written here. Uh, I think it has been measured with a Fluke uh, PM6306 and with an Agilent 3441A. This all sounds nice but can we trust this info? After all, it all comes from some shop on Taobao. It would be best to just take it to a calibration lab and have it measured. And uh, I plan to do that in the near future. The sponsor of this video is JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB factory which currently has the best offer on the market. You can order 10 PCBs for just $2, so check out their website linked in the description below because it will probably cost you more to do the PCBs at home. Something like this is useful for testing uh, various equipment to see if they are within spec or not. I'm not sure if uh, every unit sold has the same uh, uh, range of values, but mine has a uh, 656 microhenries uh, inductor, a 39.6 nanofarad capacitor and a 66.3 kilo ohm resistor. If you happen to have one of these, let me know in the comments if you have the same values or maybe different. Since I don't have a proper LCR meter, the best I could measure right now is uh, resistance with my Agilent 3441A multimeter and maybe capacitance uh, with uh, one of the multimeters that I have and can measure capacitance. But the uh, resolution won't be great on those. So let's try the uh, resistance measurement first. So we're getting 66.499 kilo ohms and uh, what was written on here was uh, 66.5 kilo ohm exactly. Yeah, so I think, uh, well, given enough time, I've tested this before and it settles on 66.500 kilo ohms. This is only a uh, two-wire measurement because uh, that's what possi what's possible with this kind of uh, reference. I haven't done the math, but uh, I'm thinking maybe the designer of this has thought about the actual um, accuracy and uh, stability of the parts used inside here. And maybe there was no point to go into a four terminal uh, measurement on, on this box. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason why, why they used only a two, a two terminal for each of the um, component inside. So let's also try the uh, capacitor measurement. 39.64 nanofarads and on the box we have 39.696 nanofarads. But as, uh, as mentioned the um, resolution is not great on this meter and it could have an error itself. So I'm just checking to see if it's within the same range here. Okay, so now let's open the box and uh, take a closer look at the parts used inside this uh, reference box. We only have these uh, plastic screws holding it together. Interesting construction technique. They used uh, another piece of acrylic to hold the inductor. So let's take a closer look at these uh, capacitors. 
it looks like we have two of them in parallel I don't know why they have two of them in parallel does it improve stability or is it just a matter of uh, getting a uh, certain value I'm sure those of you who know more will let us know in the comments but anyway these look like uh, some old parts indeed so they are either new old stock or recovered parts from old equipment but uh, that should be a really good thing in this case because uh, these components are now aged and they are more stable than they were new but it makes me think how can they source so many of these uh, parts how much old equipment can you source so yeah, maybe these are um, new old stock the inductor doesn't seem to have any markings yep it's uh, just a piece of insulated uh, wire wrapped on this uh, plastic roll and it's shielded with a bit of uh, it's isolated with a bit of tape but there are no markings on the inductor so I'm not sure if this inductor really is uh, anything special but let's try to take a closer look at the resistor So on the top the resistor is marked 6474 it's a v-shape and we can see it says 18612 below i don't know if that's 88750 or maybe if it's b8750 and then we have more on the back it's a 66.5k resistor with 0.01% precision so I don't know much about these uh, precision resistors how old uh, maybe this uh, this model is but I'm sure someone in the comments uh, will let us know now if you do take uh, yours to a uh, measurement and calibration lab and you get a set of values then it's not really indicated to take it apart because uh, just moving their their leads around and adding con contaminants on the leads could change those uh, uh, measured values yeah so it's not a good thing to take it apart after you have uh, calibrated yours but since i haven't uh, done that yet it's uh, fairly okay to take mine apart and uh, also like i mentioned earlier with just uh, two hour measurement method this is for the uh, resistor I'm not sure how uh, how accurate we can get with our measurements I also plan to get one of those voltage reference boxes based on uh, AD584 from the same maker I want to get the AD584LH variant in a metal can because that version has better performance but it's hard to find a seller that will guarantee you get the LH variant instead of the KH variant which has slightly lower specs in terms of stability and uh, that's a that appears to be what they uh, they are shipping right now even though their pictures show an LH variant they are shipping a KH variant so be careful when you're ordering one ask the seller before if you uh, ask him to check the markings on the metal can I've asked some questions on AliExpress but they do not uh, uh, seem to know what I'm talking about or maybe they pretend not to know so I'll keep searching uh, I think I found the seller that is able to source the LH variant for me so far I have uh, this um, low current reference I built myself in a uh, Volog number 67 I have the RLC box and if I get the voltage reference as well I'll have a basic reference set for testing multimeters it would be nice to have a reference box with multiple resistor values and capacitors or one of those um, voltage standards which can output various voltages either AC or DC but those are out of uh, my budget uh, for now and uh, I'll have to do with these uh, reference boxes 
that was all for today. It would be nice to hear your experience with these reference boxes and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.